<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We are QOTD, and you are watching the Question of the Day show, our daily recap show. Question of the Day, for those of you who are new around here, is the game show that lets you be on the air by answering uh, our awesome daily questions with your own recorded video answers. And you can also right join us. And you can also join us by voting for your favorite answer to determine who makes it to the weekly Big Show Championship. That's on Thursdays at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We are going to show you how to make it on the air with us for Thursday's Big Show. But first, we're going to take a look at one of our favorite fan answers to today's question, which has to do with some words of wisdom. And it kicks off our fabulous week. That's all about fathers, family, and fun. Mm, well, speaking of advice, I've got some advice and I am a father, so everybody pay attention. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, you should subscribe because that way you get the QOTD announcements first before everybody else. It shows up in your inbox. It gives you a little bit extra time to think about and answer our QOTDs and it will help you uh, in that way to get on the air, maybe make it to the Thursday Big Show and be a big fat winner. Like you wouldn't want that, yeah. Well, without further ado, let's get into what is today's question of the day? Let's see. What is the best piece of advice that you've received that you would like to share with the world? Other than to subscribe to QT, exactly. of course. <laughs> it's a good question. I think people have all, all advice I'd, I'd say is equally valid. Some people get those like very, you know, proverbs that are very emotional that stick with them for life and then other times it's like hey never forget your keys but all very important in this thing we call life i'm sorry reed did you say that all advice is equally valid every single piece of advice is equal in value to every other single piece of advice you've heard it here first so like buy to whatever buy high sell low if i gave you that advice that would be equally valid no every advice that's good okay <laughs> Okay, no, okay, 100% agree. And I will be the judge of that. I'm the sole <laughs> arbiter. All right, I like where this is going. <laughs> well, before we get into our own advice and present it for Reed to judge, <laughs> whether it's good or bad, we should first get into one of our favorite fan answers because we already have a lot of answers from across the world and we wanted to highlight a really great piece of advice. So receiving the honor of your awesome advice, we have Camille's answer. The best piece of advice that I've ever received is to be paying attention to every single car on the road. So two cars in front of you, beside you, and behind you. Um, that's gotten me uh, away from a lot of wrecks. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say that's great. It's great yeah. advice. Always just being alert in general is very good. Um, I like to drive with music on and sometimes I have to remind myself if you're not in a video, you're not in a movie scene, you are you are operating heavy machinery. Yeah. I like car advice. I liked Camille's answer. I also have I got a piece of good car advice that I passed down to my kids, which was never let your gas tank get below a quarter tank. Always oh, yeah. make yourself gas up at a quarter tank. But you can also view that very broadly. Like it's not really about a car. It's a metaphor for life. Just never let your gas tank get below a quarter full. Oh, right. So if your joy level is getting down there, right? It's just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then, you, you know, you got to take a break and fill up the joy tank. Life uh -huh. is on my way. Yeah. <laughs> also great advice. You know what? I'm going to give some car advice too. So the very, when I was learning how to drive, my brother, for some reason, taught me how to drive. My brother, Mike, who is just, you know, an A plus guy. And he turns to me very seriously and he says, don't look where you don't want to go, look where you want to go. And like I say, interpreted more broadly, that is advice for life. And I took it that way and I have followed it. And therefore I now live on the beach <laughs> with my big background. That's what happens. That's really good advice. Yeah, car advice. Yeah. Yeah, anything is possible. Well, I, on a different note, got some food slash general life advice from a friend's grandmother, which was always have bagels, chocolate, and some kind of special beverage in the fridge at all times. Fine. You never know who's going to stop by. I guess that's one of the reasons, right? Never know who's going to stop by. And like when you have a bad day, if one of those three things can't console you, you're yeah. not trying hard enough, frankly. 
<laughs> but it, I suppose it's a good way to refill your joy tank when it's below a quarter full. Exactly. It gets that you is really good way. advice. Yeah, I mean, I have, the, there are, are some answers trickling in, and trickling isn't quite the right word, but we're seeing the early answers, even though this was just announced. And, you know, I've seen some really great stuff out there, but people have interpreted this question. Generally, it's it's kind of what you're talking about, Reed, where it's a lot of life advice, how to be happier, what to value, you know, like relationships come up a lot. Uh, and, and people say contradictory things about it, you know, where it's like, yeah, forget about your relationships as well, what you think. And other people are like, no, 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 relationships are the most important thing that you have. So there's a lot to evaluate and judge out there, but there's a lot of good advice. But what the thing that I thought was super interesting was that people's focus is not on how do I make the most money? It's a little bit less on driving than perhaps we would like, but it's really focused on how do you be a happier person? How do you be a more fulfilled person? That's what I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Who knows what's going to come in this morning? Maybe it'll be nothing but like, you know, advice on like where to stand at pickleball or something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. Which I, I could use. About... Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm thinking about my own advice. And it also sort of relates to like happiness and how to live a better life. Um, first of all, the practical side, I have two. The practical side is if you're in New York City and you want to get anywhere on time, leave yourself twice the travel time so that way you can make sure you accommodate for like train delays, time to walk places, just that whole deal. Because traveling in the city, it's never certain. It, there's so many little factors. Reed, where do we stand on this? Um, yeah, I would agree. I never follow it though. I'm always like, I can make it in 20 minutes. I'm a fast walker. But that's the problem is in New York, everybody's a fast walker. You think yeah, you would get there early, right? In New York. Because everybody walks so fast. Yeah, I mean, sometimes. I think I'm a faster walker than everyone. I'm always like kind of trying to pass people, navigate through, but yeah. I mean, it's also like fine if you're a little late. But then you um, gotta stop off and look in some shop windows, maybe stop off and get a hot dog. Exactly. You know, there's a lot going on. Yes, yes. Oh, and then I have another piece of advice quickly that I just thought of looking at my unmade bed <laughs> my bedroom. It is to always make you start your day by making your bed. I think I saw like some graduation yeah. speech where someone said yeah. this, but it's like, if you start off your day by making your bed, it's like a good routine. Um, and then when you like come home at the end of the day, you're like, oh, I can just like lie down on a made bed. So, it's so like, I wouldn't swear to it, but I think that, that that was actually a Stephen Covey quote. Stephen Covey wrote Seven Habits of Successful People and a bunch of other things like that. And I think that's where I think that's where I first heard it. And it was like a study of people who went on to become successful in business and science and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, their parents made them make their bed first thing in the morning and they stuck with it. Yeah, you've already accomplished something before you walk out the door. It's the first accomplishment of the day. Yeah, Just yeah. You, you make your bed, you open the fridge, you say hello to your chocolate bagel, and then you go off and you conquer the world. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, fans, we can't wait to see the rest of your advice as it comes in. You've got six days left to submit your own answers for your chance to appear on our Thursday Big Show. That's our super fun finale. It's hosted by Keith, JJ, Reed, and I. We go over the best of the best videos of the entire week. We do it every Thursday morning at 8.30 a.m. on YouTube, Twitch, and right here at beyondtheair.com. To record your answer for that big show, you can go to beyondtheair.com and you can click the orange record button under the 24-7 live game stream. You can still answer today's question or any of this week's other questions to let us know your secrets to happiness and success, uh, present them for Reed to judge and for your chance to join us on the air. Oh, and I've got more advice too, which is everybody should play more. Take it from me, friends. I've made 300 video games, you should play more. But a game that you can also play is called the Guess and Bid Game. You can play it on beyondtheair.com, it don't cost nothing. When you go there, you bid stars on the video's answers that you think are the best. And then when they climb the leaderboard, so do you. And it's an awesome way to show up on the air, like Mary and Zach here, to show up in the, in the Daily Recap Show, just like that. Just by having good judgment like Reed. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say um, you got my stamp of approval on that one. Great advice. And 
Thank you to everybody for sharing your advice so far, and a special thank you to everybody who's already watched, voted, and recorded today. We are QOTD and Be On The Air signing off, and we'll see you on TV. Bye, aloha. Everyone. Yes, aloha, adieu, goodbye, cheers.